Look. What is it? Yours, your work. Some of it's drafts, notes, that sort of thing. Yes, but what is there here? Two symphonies, some sonatas, a trio, piano concertos, a lot of other stuff. I have no idea. Eh? All of it unperformed. Oh, no. Some of it's what you heard already, but most of it. Boom, 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 boom. I showed some to Haydn. <laughs> What happened? Oh, he didn't like it. <laughs> you know the terrifying thing about Haydn? In his day, he was a musical revolutionary, a daring innovator. Now look at him. The year I studied under Joseph Haydn was the most boring of my life. I don't know how I survived. The same goes for all those other teachers. Albrechtsberger, Forster, Schenk, Dahl, Dahl, a lot of them. Still, that's Vienna for you. And the Viennese. Horrible place. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Mind you, there's no risk of them ever joining the revolution. Not while they can stuff themselves on black ale and sausage. <laughs> Though they might cut up nasty if they ran short of ice cream. <laughs> but you're not going to give up performing. What? I was only... I can't keep up with you. Are you well? No. No, I'm not. What is it? Headache, bowels, but it's not that. Are you eating properly? Over there. What? I said I'm again. Oh, wait. Now. Again. Again. What? But surely... I'd be grateful if you could find out the names of the best physicians in Vienna for the ear. I've been unable to bring myself to do so. But you've not seen anybody about this? Not since Bonn. And it's getting worse? Month by month. There's a reason, you see. There must be a thing like this. It's not an accident. You won't tell anyone about this. I have enemies. <laughs> the deaf musician. <laughs> Mozart. Yes. The greatest musician that has ever lived. He gave me lessons, you know, when I was 17. And Vienna, which he enriched so much with his genius, let him die in dingy poverty and buried him in a common pauper's pit. I went looking for his grave when I came back. There's nothing to be seen. Nothing. It's not even a very good likeness. It's a death mask. Yes. My husband took it. And there's the clothes he died in. And they come and see this, now he's dead. In their hundreds. The sublime Mozart. They hate any man of genius. He's too disturbing. And he shows up their own mediocrity too clearly. They're appreciative to you. At the moment. Look at the thing. It's pretty. Genius isn't pretty. It's squealing in a trap. A sheer, naked defenselessness, inconceivable to other men. There's no will, no choice in it. You lie stretched out between what humanity is and what it could become, twisted and racked between those two things, singing out. Oh, the greatest wisdom. Like he did. He gave us music. And then when you're barely 35. 35. Just beginning. 
Of course, it's not at all like that, really. It's bloody hard work. <laughs> your husband... Your husband must have been a remarkable man. Oh, he made a lot of money abroad, making casts and things, and put it all into this. He married me partly to try to slip back into his social plane. But they wouldn't have us.